So we talk about defending the ball behind. Now we're going to move upfield and defend the ball on the wing. Very similar principles here. Uh, number one, Casey's got to be whistle ready. The ball came in off the, uh, the sideline on a whistle. We want him whistle ready. We want to stick out parallel to the ground. We want the head of his stick turned down. So again, he has a, a, wider, uh, uh, a wider area to poke. And again, if Matt throws the ball, Casey can raise his stick and knock that ball down. So again, Casey's whistle ready. Whistle ready coming off the wing. Wide base, stick down. We want his, his hips, his uh, center of gravity, lower than his offensive player. The same thing applies behind. We want Casey by his alignment now to take away the high side or the wide side. So as a rule, we want Matt's upfield foot and Casey's downfield foot to match. So at least Casey's one man removed from his man. Casey lines up, head up. Matt Danowski can just sprint right-handed right by him. So again, the same premise applies. All of his team defensive help is to the inside. So if Casey gets beat, he gets beaten to his inside. He, as an individual defender, has got to take away the top side or the high side. So again, line up again, guys. Matt reads that, he's taking away the high side. Now Matt splits downfield to his left hand. We want Casey to be able to run with his offensive player. We want Casey to be able to check his offensive player, but we want Casey to trail the offensive player. Knowing that if Casey overplays this now, this downhill dodge and overplays Matt, and Matt rolls back, now Matt has won. Matt has won the wide side and a better angle to the goal. So we tell our players, as that player split, downhill, downfield, we want him to trail him, trail him, knowing again that all the team defensive help is to his inside. And again, the same principles apply, long stick, short stick, playing defense is the same, generic, behind, wing, 